I mean, I've done the like six week challenges before. Right. It's just not sustainable. And like, I knew that going in, I was yeah. like, okay, I'm going to do something that will get me going, mm -hmm. but I know it's not going to be forever. And I'm not going to be perfect. What's happening? I'm Coach Jay. I'm here with Coach Katie and Coach Wendy and Coach Rebecca. Yeah, we are back. The whole crew is back. So um, we got a lot of stuff to talk about today. Mm. But first, we actually have, um, well, if you're not watching this on video, you're not going to see it, but we actually have, uh, we have a snack today that we're going to test. We're going to do a taste test. What do you got here, Katie? This is kangaroo jerky from Australia. It's made of real kangaroos? Yeah, it's made of kangaroos. Uh, <laughs> one of our clients brought it in, just spent the last three weeks in Australia. Okay. And uh, so we figured we'd try it because none of us have had this before, right? I have not had kangaroo jerky. I've but had you've kangaroo. Had kangaroo meat. Oh, okay. Oh. Kangaroo meat. You have yeah. had kangaroo meat. Yeah. So should we try it? Yeah. Good day, mate. Okay. <laughs> Let's try it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Do you need a knife? Kangaroo <laughs> on the barbie. <laughs> uh, let's see. I don't know how tender a kangaroo is. <laughs> but it seems pretty. You, it seems like you do the, need a the, knife. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, Here we, we gotta, go. You got to try it at the same time, yeah. Okay. Right. Ready? Wow, it's dark. It's super dark. Oh yeah. Wow. Oh, maybe I should let you Is take it? your own. Mm. Aussie kangaroo naturally wood smoked and marinated it's to dark. create yeah. Australia's finest kangaroo jerky. All right. Let's try it. Oh, it doesn't smell great. Oh. <laughs> it does not smell All right. great. Whoa! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! Okay. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. And go. <laughs> I have a little. That's not bad. It tastes like jerky. Yeah. It's a little tougher. Mm -hmm. I don't think they put um a lot of like preservatives in it like they do with some of the jerky that we have here. I don't think I like it. No. Yeah, no, it's, it's a no for me. <laughs> I don't think I like Really? It. Yeah. Yeah, hand it over. I'll finish it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's a pass for me. <laughs> oh, man. Rebecca's got to leave the room. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Well, Interesting. It has like, I don't know. It's got like an irony taste, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. You know what it reminds me of? Liver. It, no. Yeah, it, like it a little gives, bit. It gives me that's a, what it is. It's like a little bit too livery yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -mm, no. Wow. So no. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> well, thank you for sharing that experience. <laughs> <laughs> I can say now I oh. tasted. So, all right, scale of, scale of one to ten. One is absolutely terrible. Oh. Ten is the best thing ever. Where would you rank the kangaroo jerky, Katie? 3.5. Wendy? Two. Rebecca? I mean, if I were stranded in the outback, that's no, all no, I no, that's not that's not the question. Well, so it's not, just answer it like, honestly. So it's a one. I mean, okay. I, did, I did not actually, so I did not actually swallow the jerky. I just, I just you you got out. up and spit it out. Oh, you were like shoot. gag reflexing over there. Yeah, oh, it's it's giving me like a liver type. Oh, yeah, I can't eat liver. Yeah. I mean, I don't Do want some water. Love some tasting oh. meat. I'm giving it a flavor. six. Wow, wow. six. Okay. I like it. It's because you like liver. Oh. Whatever. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> I just have an appetite for things oh, that hop around. I had some stuff in my teeth. What we do want to talk about <laughs> today. <laughs> yeah, I've been getting a lot of a lot of people asking me questions about uh, nutrition lately, because I was looking at the scan. So August of 2022. So first of August, between that date and today, I have lost 30 pounds. So 30 pounds since August of 2022, and um. And, you know, people have been asking, like, what kind of things are you doing and, and that kind of thing. And my kind of standard answer is, like, you don't really want to know because, <laughs> uh, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty, like, there's nothing mis mysterious about it. But actually, as I thought through it and we talked about a couple of the clients that, um, that we've had that have really been consistent but haven't been seeing progress... The story is actually a little more interesting because it's not like, oh, I just flipped a switch one day and then all this stuff happened and then it just happened overnight. It was actually kind of a long journey that I didn't really have like super high expectations for. So I thought we'd talk through that a little bit today yeah. and talk about like how long does it actually take to see progress mm -hmm. when you're losing weight? 
uh, or losing fat or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. How's that sound? Yeah, great. That's good. Yeah? Okay. So um, I'll start by kind of think, talking through kind of what I did at the beginning, and then, you know, we'll talk about kind of how it applies to clients. So yeah. I weighed myself, I was like 250 pounds almost, which, um, you know, is still way down from the 315 pounds that I was back in the day, mm -hmm. but it's very uncomfortable for me. And this is the thing, like, this is an ongoing sort of journey. Mm -hmm. So for me, like, had two full-time jobs and you know, a lot of stress kind of put a lot of things off. And when I weighed myself, I was like, mm, I probably need to do something about this. And so the first thing that I started doing was I kind of decided I'm going to start taking steps to actually lose weight. Because at that point, I was just working out and wasn't really thinking about it. And so I started by tracking which is the thing that you always recommend mm -hmm. to do. Mm -hmm. I started just by tracking how much food I was eating. Mm -hmm. And I only did that for about a week or two just to see where I was at. But even that started to make a little bit of a difference. And then I just, I, looking back on all of my logs over the years, one thing that's always worked for me is like cutting carbs. So I cut carbs. So speaking of liver, I was mm -hmm. eating liver and like just meat for a while. Mm -hmm. But uh, so I did that for maybe six weeks or so, and I didn't actually hold myself to any like macros or anything like that. I just cut some things out and I only ate, I only ate basically like meat and, mm -hmm. you know, vegetables. Mm -hmm. I wasn't even perfect on that though. I was only mm -hmm. doing that like five, six days a week. Yeah. And that was like the first two or three months and mm -hmm. I maybe lost like 10 or 15 pounds. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I kind of want to talk a little bit about that sort of starting point because it wasn't super disciplined or like I wasn't going all in. Mm -hmm. And it, that's kind of what you all recommend for people, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Was that like a deliberate decision of yours or what? was it just kind of what happened? To? To like start dipping a toe. Yeah. 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 Because, I mean, I've done the like six week challenges before right. and it's just like it's just not sustainable. And like, I knew that going in, I was yeah. like, okay, I'm going to do something that will get me going, mm -hmm. but I know it's not going to be forever and I'm not going to be perfect. Yeah. 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 Totally. yeah. So you got whatever you wanted to get from that then in that yeah. case, right? Yeah. So, yeah. I lost like five or 10 pounds of water yeah. weight and I, I was feeling better. Mm -hmm. And then that like helped me help kind of motivate me to like take another step. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so it, it started first with awareness mm -hmm. and you know, whenever... <laughs> It's the same thing whenever you ask anybody about their diet, they're like, oh, I eat pretty well. Yeah. Right. Like a few people will be like, oh, I eat like garbage. But sure. most people think they eat pretty well. Yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah, I eat pretty well. And yeah, that's true. Most of the time, yeah. like four or five days a week. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't take that many weekends off for you to like actually on average be eating a lot more than you totally. than you burn. Were you weighing, scanning too as well, or just logging? So the first scan was um, the 1st of August, and, uh, and then I started weighing myself on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. So every day? Yeah. Okay. So like first was just awareness. Yeah. Track food, weigh myself. Yeah. Yeah. That okay. thing you said that didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> That's so interesting. I mean, I didn't, I didn't actually know all that. Yeah. But uh, I, I don't know if you remember around that same time, I had a similar reaction to... Mm. And oh body. yeah, I, I had to have that a, one. I had to have a session with Wendy. Oh yeah, I had to get yeah. talked out. Yeah, mm. yeah. Because what I have found about myself is when I stop tracking, mm -hmm. I start to eat something here, eat something there. It's like I generally know what I'm eating, so I'm probably within it. And mm -hmm. then you get to a point where you're always kind of giving yourself a, oh, I'm probably in it. Yeah. And whenever I start tracking again, I within weeks, I'll be back at a weight that I'm comfortable with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was like that exact same time. Mm -hmm. hmm. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> heart, so. heart hands across <laughs> this. <laughs> right. Right. Here we go. <laughs> um, great minds think alike. But, you know, here's the thing, though. Like, I've been coaching people for 15 years, and this is... Like when I sat down to figure out what I wanted to do, mm -hmm. this is the exact process that I followed. Mm -hmm. Yes, I could have just like cut everything out until I got to the weight and I would right. have gotten there faster. You've yeah. done that before though. Too. Done that before. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, like it wasn't, I knew based on the rest of my life that I was not going to be happy. Yeah. Like I've done the thing where you like 
yeah. you know, just eliminate everything. And you're just like so miserable for like weeks and weeks and weeks. And like, you know, and I did, you know, cut down carbs, but I also never measured, like I never limited myself. I was eating a ton of calories. Yeah, yeah. I was eating a ton of like electrolytes and all this stuff that you eat. And then on the weekends, sometimes I would just eat whatever I wanted. And um, it was just like the practice and then yeah. the awareness. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah, and I think, and that was what, for two months, three months? Something like that. Something like yeah. that. Yeah, it's interesting because I feel like you were also starting from a place where you had sort of, you'd done this before, and for you, like, the level of effort to do what you were doing was what, maybe like a seven out of 10? Yeah, yeah. Something like that. And what's interesting is like, this is where I have found working with clients is that like, seven out of 10 effort is like a good place to shoot for, for that first like, few weeks to kind of, mm-hmm just get a feel for what's going to work and what's not. Yeah. But that looks different for everybody based on what they've been doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. So for some people, seven out of 10 is just like getting in three meals a day. Yeah. Forget about even what they are. Just like get sticking to some kind of structure around their eating routine, like yeah. building an eating routine. Mm-hmm. Right. And it's interesting because like some people will see progress doing that and some people won't. Yeah. But it's like that same level of effort is like, so, you anyway. know, actually, I answered that question, yes, a seven. It was actually more like a four or five. Yeah. That's why I cut out carbs. It was like, I don't want to think about this. Mm-hmm. Let me just only eat these foods. Mm-hmm. And that was like, and that was, for me, that was how to start. Like, I didn't even do food prep. I was barbecuing like every other day. Yeah, yeah. Right? It was just like, great, yeah, I, I can have steak. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> You know, similar. like, yeah, so it was just barbecuing every other day. I mean, the weather wasn't as bad as it is right now. <laughs> And, uh, and yeah, that's, that's what I did. Barbecuing young kangaroos. Oh gosh. Yeah. Jay's like, yes. <laughs> this is like reminding me of like when it's I like, only ate like, meat, it's I like need more meat. meat. <laughs> I mean, seriously, like the liver, the yeah, raw yeah. liver, it was easy to eat. You just yeah. like rip it up and eat it. Right? I mean. <laughs> yeah, easy. <laughs> it actually tastes pretty good. Uh, Look, if you only eat meat, then it is a variety. I have a, like a, my grandma used to like force us to eat liver when I was growing up. I'm traumatized. Like I, I yeah, no, it brings me bad memories. I was yeah. a vegetarian for a really long time. You? And yeah. And I still just don't like the taste of meat. I don't like it when something's meat forward. Mm. Meat forward. So, so, <laughs> so kind of a, what is me? Anyway. <laughs> oh never, my God. never heard of, <laughs> never heard of that. I hear until now. Wow. I, I was going to share a story about my, my. Let's hear it. Let's yeah. hear the story. Feels inappropriate after what you just said. But anyways, I'm going to share it anyway. So, uh. um, okay. So speaking of being vegetarian. So we just came back from San Diego. My wife uh, drove the kids down. And on the way, on Highway 5, there's a slaughterhouse, right? Mm. Mm-hmm. And uh, pass by, you can smell it, you see all the cows. And my wife says to the kids, like, hey, that's where, you know, like cows turn into our hamburgers. And like... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> and so, like, you know, Tiger babbled. Evie was super quiet. And like two hours later, she just burst into tears. Oh! And I was like, "What? What's the problem?" <laughs> and Tina picked up on it. She's like, "It was because of the cow thing, right?" Oh. She's like, "Yeah." Oh. She hasn't eaten meat since then. Oh. It was like a week, like almost yeah, almost a week ago now. And she will only order vegetarian stuff. Wow! Oh my god! And it's like, um, I, you know, it's funny. Hmm. Like I'm not a vegetarian. Yeah. But. I'm super proud of her. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. She, you know, she 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 saw something. She yeah. felt a certain way. She made yeah. a decision. She's not making anyone do it. Yeah. She's just like, yeah. oh, what a, she's yeah. You know, she decided to do that for herself. Great. Yeah. That's amazing. Wow. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, I'm yeah. sure it's not going to be a forever thing, but it's like she made a decision about yeah. something yeah. that she that yeah. she likes. So, anyways, that just reminded me of that. <sighs> um, mm. All right. So, <laughs> anyways. As I was saying, I was only eating meat and raw liver, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> I did that for a while. And so the reason I went to that, I don't recommend that for people. The reason I went to that is because I've done it in the past, and it's worked for like my energy, and also I lose a little water weight, so I start to feel better, et cetera, et cetera. So I did that, and I kind of was off and on with that until like Thanksgiving. So that's like August, September, October, right? So three yeah. months. And looking at the scan here, I think I lost like 
I don't know, 12 pounds, 13 pounds, something like that. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's not terrible. Yeah. I mean, I was definitely like bloated at the mm. time when I started. Because of the liver? <laughs> no, the, no, no. I, I wasn't started first in August. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh I, yeah. See, I see. I see. Yeah. I was blo I was a bloated 250. Mm. Oh, I see. Right? I see. So then I was kind of rolling around 235, 233, something like that. Mm -hmm. And what's interesting about that is I wasn't perfect. I wasn't trying to be perfect. I wasn't really measuring calories. I was just tracking the stuff and like paying attention to what I ate. Mm -hmm. And I decided after like, Here's the thing about low carb. If you do low carb, if you're ever considering low carb, it sucks in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. There are some really good things and there are some really good things that it does for your energy. Like your adrenaline is a little bit higher, mm -hmm. but you're dehydrated quite a bit more. Your sleep is impacted. Your performance is definitely impacted. Mm -hmm. yeah. Although you can lift more, which is interesting. For you. Well, maybe that's yeah. just how I'm built. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah. But it, it like the dehydration and I mean, like, there's like interesting science behind that that we can get into, but mm, maybe another time. Mm, yeah. No, we've mm, talked about carb mm, stuff mm, before. Mm, yeah. yeah. There's a women, there's a reason, there's a reason when women do no carb, it's a little bit different. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But anyway. Yeah. We talked about that, didn't we? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. it kind of impacts Wait, your hormones. Wait, aren't women just small men? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Only, <laughs> only Wendy. <laughs> 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 See podcast. <laughs> for that. But, um, but yeah, so like I, I actually don't recommend like super low carb. I mean, you might do a little bit like, you know, one or two days or a week or something, yeah. but mm -hmm. like it's not a great like long term thing. Mm -hmm. Um but it did have a it did have a good impact on my energy and it also got it kind of got me into like some good habits. Mm. So you know, when we're talking to our clients, mm -hmm. there's a lot of different ways that you can kind of approach this with them. But, you know, for me, the goal was about 80% mm -hmm. compliance at that point, mm -hmm. like 100% tracking, 80% compliance, like we talked about a few ep episodes ago, mm -hmm. right? And like, if I think if I would have gone 100% compliance, I would have, I mean, I wouldn't have quit, but I wouldn't have like been happy about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And that's kind of what you recommend to people, right? Yeah, that's right. Like, it's always, especially in, in the, at the start, it's kind of a, you know, you're working together as a team to figure out what makes sense as the first place to kind of target. And that has everything to do with what their goal and their timeline is and also what they feel like they're capable of doing. And so for some people, it might be three meals a day. For some people, it might be protein at breakfast. Yeah. You know, but it is. It's like... It's definitely not trying to switch everything at once. Um, yeah. Usually that doesn't work out. <laughs> so at that point, I hired a coach, which is what I recommend anyone does for a goal that they, that they have. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, this coach basically put me on a, just a regular macros that, you know, you might recommend to your clients here. Mm -hmm. And it was helpful to have somebody outside, you know, I would not, I would not hire any, either of you, um, not cause you're not great, but it just doesn't work. The dynamic doesn't yeah. work. Yeah. We've tried this before, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It mm -hmm. doesn't work too well. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, ask you advice. That's great. But like mm -hmm. having you, you know, like I'm eating around you every day. Yeah. So having you, you know, say, oh, is that X amount of calories or whatever? <laughs> that was actually when I started here. Like when I started here, you must have just started that. Because I remember when I started here, I was like, oh, this guy only eats meat. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, you had a lot of questions about that. Well, I had a lot of questions about that. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so I, I hired a coach. They just put me on a regular sort of balanced uh, diet, and I was following it about five days a week, mm -hmm. five or six days a week. Mm -hmm. Um. And that was around Thanksgiving. And for the next like four months, basically nothing happened. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah, right. I was like, and I won't say nothing, like a little bit of stuff happened, but like yeah. my weight stayed exactly the same. Mm -hmm. And I was following five, six days a week. And I, you know, I was checking in every week, putting all my stuff in mm -hmm. every week. And I remember one week I was like, dude, man, I'm kind of putting in like work here. Yeah. I'm doing like most of the stuff you're telling me to do. And it's not going anywhere. And he's like, I mean, you're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could be a little more consistent. Yeah. And that was, you know, January or something. Yeah. 
and I just and I was like, oh, yeah, I mean, I could I could just do this every day, and maybe that would make a difference. Yeah. But you know, now we're talking about like August all mm-hmm. the way to like the end of January. Totally. So that's that's five months. Yeah. Right. That's five months yeah. before I thought, let me just do it every day. Yeah. 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 Totally. Right. And that's like I I don't think a lot of people quite get that. Right. Mm-hmm. And it's not like I planned it that way, mm-hmm. but it's that. That's like I was just went. kind of trusting my gut like this yeah. is what yeah yeah I need to you know we we had several trips to the hotsy totsy during that time and I yeah. was like yeah I'm I'm gonna go yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. right we had all right. our parties right. and we had mm-hmm. karaoke I was like I'm doing all that stuff yeah, yeah. right yeah. and so five months of not like being Same 100% yeah. yeah and not really seeing like I saw I lost and lost that initial like 12 13 mm-hmm. pounds and then I was like stuck there still rolling about 15 20 pounds higher than i wanted to be mm-hmm. yeah. yeah this is this is very common yeah do you want it to quit <laughs> what's that do you want it to quit at some point no no not really so you, you i weren't... was i like there were weeks where i was like mm, i should have done six days that week but did you stop like tracking macros no. at any point like this no. whole entire time the five tracked... months you were still tracking even though you had a terrible way oh, or I just mean, things were not I would you know there'd be days I'd be eating 6,000 calories mm-hmm. you know and like yeah it's like <laughs> so you didn't question the process you questioned you started it's introspection you're like my I have not been doing yeah the thing yeah it wasn't the plan that I have must be off no or no never this question process the plan. did not work for, does not work for me mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. yeah okay yeah, I mean, even throughout the whole thing, he's only changed my macros like once. Yeah. Because it was like, I, you know, I was having a hard time getting the protein and like protein was a little bit high. Mm-hmm. And he was like, yeah, you know, we'll just make it a little easier, give you a little extra carbs and a mm-hmm. little less protein. Mm-hmm. But that, I mean, even that was like kind of not necessary. Yeah. It was mm-hmm. more just like, I mean, every week I'd have to check in and I would have to like, okay, I, I would look back and I'm like, oh man, I really screwed up on Friday. Mm-hmm. Saturday, mm-hmm. and it, I mean, I, I didn't feel bad about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I'm like, okay, looking at week after week, every Friday and Saturday, I'm going way off plan. Yeah. Like, is it reasonable for me to expect that right. I'm going to lose an right. additional, like at a certain point, I mean, you only have 15, 20 pounds to lose. That's not much. Yeah. Right, for yeah. me. Right. You know, yeah. I was 100 pounds overweight at some point. Yeah. Those last 15, 20 is not easy. Yeah. yeah. So if I'm taking two days off a week, I can't really expect right. that's going to go away. Right, right. And I knew that. And that was one thing that really helped mm-hmm. is knowing that, like, mm, you're only going to get so far by doing this. Totally. Yeah. But I think that what's cool about this and just, like, zooming out is that, like, this is a process that a lot of our clients go through, mm-hmm. which is you start to change things and then you figure out where the sticking points are. Yeah. And so for you, it was consistency. And for a lot of people, it's consistency. But if you try to like overdo consistency at the start, it's without doing like all of the hard work of figuring out how to prioritize your time and how to prep things and how to get things organized. It's like, it's really hard. It's interesting. I was just meeting with a client earlier today who has achieved like over the last couple of weeks, an incredible level of consistency. And they've been with us for six months at this point, and it was never that consistent before. Yeah. And not that like effort wasn't being made and progress wasn't being made. And it wasn't like suddenly there was something that clicked that was like, now I'm gonna be 100% consistent. It was just like little things have added up. Yeah. And so now it's like they don't really want to do anything else because they feel good when they eat this way. They have their life kind of now structured around these times. And it just sort of fell into place. Mm-hmm. But I think what can happen is if you don't recognize that there's going to be this lead up of like learning and troubleshooting and figuring out what level of consistency you need to see progress, then you won't see progress for as much as you think maybe you want and get discouraged and not kind of like push past that to find that sweet spot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, and that sweet spot might come at six months or it might come at four months or it might come at a year. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like for me, it was years of like searching for that sweet spot before I found it. I'm just glad I didn't give up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 No, that's, uh, that's really well said. I mean, I've had times where, for example, I've done mm-hmm. a CrossFit workout every single day for mm-hmm. six straight months, mm-hmm. like, like over 180 days. I come in on Sunday and do it, whatever. So like, I know I can yeah. do that. And knowing that you can actually makes you respect it. Yeah. You're just like, 
if I go 100%, then other stuff's going to fall by the wayside. I don't know what it is, but something's going to fall because I'm going to have to be here every single day. I'm going to have to do every. I'm going to have to, my food prep's got to be dialed. I got to bring, you know, a scale to the restaurant. Like everything's got to be on point. And so I don't pull that lever until I'm like ready. Ready, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I think, I do think people struggle a little bit like, okay, I'm all in, let's go. Yeah. And it's like, mm, you don't know how hard that actually is. Yeah. And it's like, and what was so fascinating is like the echoes what you were saying when Wendy asked you like, so how long are you going to do this for? And you're like, all right. Like, I, it's like, you're not even thinking about it, right? Yeah. It's like, well, I'm going to do it today and I'll probably do it tomorrow and I'll probably do it the next day, right? And it was funny because with this client, it was the same thing. Like I asked them the same question. It's like, all right, so how far do you want to take this? I'm like, well, I have no reason to change. Like this is, every day feels great. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. And it's and like, like that is a, the reason that's a sweet spot is because if you feel like this is something that like, I'm going to push for another three weeks, like, then you're setting yourself up, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Because what's going to happen happen after those three weeks? Like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you've done the white knuckle thing before, right, coach? I mean, maybe not with uh, nutrition, but like where, you know, you're just like, (laughs) I'm going to, what's white knuckle? (laughs) What's white knuckle? (laughs) Well, I'm so tight. Have you heard that before, Wendy? No. You know what white knuckling thing is? Yeah, totally. It's like, it's like you say, you say, I'm going to run every single day for a hundred days. Oh, and like I'm, go I'm over just the top. doing like you've, you haven't run for six months yeah. and you can do it every single day. You're going to run three miles a day. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. Have you done the white knuckle? <laughs> well, no. It's, <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like a, it's like a song. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. I was still very confused. <laughs> like, what is something. I see. I see. Yeah. Like a uh, saying. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. What Never you, heard what of did, it. What did you think the white knuckle was? I, I was, <laughs> I was going to ask questions right now because oh, I was. Oh my gosh. It sounds like a really good cocktail actually. The white knuckle or something. Like or like something, a, something we won't talk about. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's very appropriate very for this podcast. Forward. <laughs> <laughs> who comes up with these sayings? <laughs> like, who comes up with this? Who was the gr- oh. who was the person who thought this was a great oh. idea to say Someone this? It was white. <laughs> yes. oh. What about oh. brown knuckles, huh? <laughs> But Don't it doesn't I have matter? to do with that. It's like Don't if you grip something so tight, you know, you lose blood. And it, you know no. how many do that? Still, still brown. <laughs> still brown. <laughs> still brown. Light brown. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So going 100%. Yes. Like we were talking about. So you've, you've done the thing where you've committed to doing something like 100%. Like right. you're going to yeah. do it every single oh, yeah. day. Yeah. Like what well, have you, like think back. When was the last time you did that? What was it? Um... It was, I think it was with you. Remember with, we used to do, you, myself, and Heidi used to do like these crazy challenges, right? Yeah, like yeah. we're going to do 100 burpees every day for the next 100 days, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. We've done that before. The hero one, remember we would do a hero workout every single day for like three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> we did that. Yeah. Um, I also play around with um, nutrition too as well, <laughs> right? So going like full on consistent with no days off. Yeah. Um, and like to that point, I did that once and to the gram, like I was not one yeah, gram yeah. over, like oh, exactly wow. Wow. like, wow, bam. Ooh. And I got, I got some great results, but it was miserable. I was miserable mm. that day yeah. and I did yeah. it for like two months, two straight months. Oh God. That day I told myself, I'm never going to do this ever again because <laughs> I miss so many birthday cakes and I love mm. to go to birthday parties because of the cake. Yeah, and yeah. I pass out on birthday cakes so many times. <laughs> and I'm like, no, I can't do this. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah, I've done it before. You passed out on birthday cakes? (laughs) 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 One too many. One too many. Wendy's in the cake again. (laughs) (laughs) The the, 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 Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Yeah, those uh, cutting cutting stuff out of your diet. Yeah, or like every every fad diet ever. I don't know. Mm. I feel like it's very black Mm -hmm. and white, all Mm -hmm. or nothing, right? Like you're eating cabbage soup for the next... 12 days and nothing else, you know? You must yeah. have been like super gassy. <laughs> it was bad. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Just a lot of broth. I did the 21 day sugar detox once. Oh, oh it was so miserable. Mm. Oh, I miserable. actually, I even went um, pescatarian once for Lent, I remember. Oh, that's right. I remember you saying, you are so dumb for doing that. Why <laughs> would you do that? That's Biggest mis- mistake ever. Yeah. Like, Sounds all delicious. I. No, I did not like it. I needed like meat. I needed <laughs> meat. 
<laughs> Meet forward. <laughs> <laughs> Meet forward. Yeah. yeah. So actually, I now that I think about it, I've done a lot of things that are yeah. like, you know, full yeah. on, let's go. Yeah. And I think that's where a lot of people go. Yeah. Right, they right. They read a diet book or they see some video yeah. and they're just like, yeah, if you go all in on this, mm-hmm. then you'll get this yeah. result. And maybe you will. Yeah. yeah. But like in, you know, in the, in the bigger picture, like your behavior has to change right. long term for you to be able to like sustain yeah. it. Yeah. And so for me, when I went through this, I was like five, six days a week for about four or five months. And it got to February. And the, the interesting thing is I started doing this. I started feeling better. And I started doing the same thing with other parts of my life, other habits. Mm. I'd be like, oh, five, right. six days a week. I will, you know, make sure I write in my journal or, you know, play my guitar or whatever other habits that I had. <clears throat> And, it, and all of them kind of converged on the same thing. They were just like, I was making a little bit of progress and feeling better about it, but not feeling so pressured that it has to be perfect. Yeah. yeah. Right. right? And, and so it was like all of these things start, made, it, made me start seeing progress. Yeah. And then I got to the point where I was like, what if I just did it every day? And, and, I, and I, I actually sat down and I wrote this out. This was like somewhere in mm-hmm. February or whatever, maybe maybe January. And I wrote out like, what would it be like if I did this every day? How long could I go? How long would I want to go? What would I commit to doing every day? And um, and I actually followed the 10, 30, 100 rule, right? Do you, re- do you guys remember what that is? No? Okay. So basically, I decided that there were 10 habits that made a difference for me. Mm-hmm. And they were, you know... It was things like work out every day, um, you know, get up early, mm-hmm. hit my macros, you know, do my morning routine, things like that, right? right? And I said, okay, these are habits that I chose that I decided were important to me, and I chose all of them based on the goals that I had. And I said, if I do this every single day, then it would be unreasonable to expect that I wouldn't achieve my goals. Mm-hmm. But I'm not going to commit to doing it every day forever. I'm just going to commit to doing it for the first 10 days. And the idea was I had already developed some habits. Now I committed to doing it perfectly for 10 days. Yeah. And so the goal of the first 10 days was to see if this was sustainable in my life. Mm -hmm. And so hitting your macros every day, there's a lot that goes into that, right? Like you have to prepare your food. You have to make sure you have good sources of protein, all these other things. So I went shopping. I did all the stuff. I mean, I already had been preparing my food, but I dialed in those last little bits. Yeah. And so I did that. The workouts were easy because we're already doing those every day. You know, a lot of the other stuff was pretty simple. And I just committed to doing it for 10 days. At the end of the 10 days, my question, the only question was not what progress I had seen, but like, what, uh, is this sustainable? Could I keep doing it? And once I figured out that it was, I committed to doing it for another 30 days. Mm. Right? Because I wanted to see what kind of progress I could get. Yeah. And so for the next 30 days... I just kept doing everything 100%. Now, I don't actually recommend people do this. I think you should do about 90%, but I did it 100% because Mm -hmm. I've already done the 80, 90% thing. Mm -hmm. So I did it for 30 days. I started to see amazing progress. So I'm hitting my macros every single day for for 10 plus 30, so 40 days, right? And I lost like 12, 15 pounds in 40 days, Mm. right? Just by not having that one day off. Yeah. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. And then when I got to about day 35 or so, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do 100. Like, I want to go for the full 100 days. And not this is not, I'm not going to be perfect on this stuff forever, but I wanted to see if I could exercise self-discipline with myself about these 100 days. Not so that I could achieve the goal, but so that I could do all of these things that I say are important to me for the 100 days. So I'm on day, I think I'm on day 50 right now. Mm. And I was looking at this, so... I have, like I said, I've lost 30 pounds total, but since then, since I decided to do that, I've lost 20 pounds and uh, 9% body fat Wow! since, since, since like January or February, yeah. 50 days ago. Wow. Yeah. 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 So like just, yeah, just on totally. these scans, right? And like, I see this with clients all the time is like the tinkering that happens for like four or five, sometimes even six months, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, you figure out what clicks, and now you're making progress for the next six months. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah that's the, interesting. The other part is um, the, um, like, looking at a, a number, right? This could be the weight. This could be muscle mass, body fat. 
Um, and I think what happens is with most people, they tend to get discouraged when they see that that number is not changing. Right. And it's yeah. like, coach, I'm doing all the things you're telling me to do, but it's, I'm not seeing anything. Yeah. Right. And I have those clients where they are following to the dot, like every single thing I tell them to do. And it's like, oh, I still don't see anything else. Yeah. So, and you can tell that, you know, they're crushed, right? It's yeah. like this is supposed to work. Why isn't it working now? Yeah. So it's, I can never tell a person the, a time where it's going to happen. Yeah, like, that's right. like over the next two days, 0.5, you'll lose, yeah, right? Or whatever. Yeah. Like yeah, I can right. never, cause we just don't know. Right. Yeah. So one thing that me and you talked about, it's like, this is actually part of the process, right? This yeah. is part of, the, this is part of it. This is part of the plan. Yeah. Right. You're supposed, we're supposed to stay here for now. Yeah. Right. If you're doing all the things, just trust me, we're, we're heading there. But I think that's where people tend yeah, to right. have a really hard time. And I, I would be myself too as well, right? Like this yeah. happens to me all the time when I step on a scale and it's like a number I don't want to see. And it's like, well, I've been consistent. What's happening? You know, or even in workouts, right? When I'm putting in the work for a certain movement or certain workout, and it's like, I still don't hit that specific thing that I was training for. Yep. Right. Yeah, you yeah. get discouraged. Right. OK, is there something wrong with me? Do I need to change the plan? Yeah. So then that's what we don't want to do. Right. Um, yeah. And I think it, it's a natural reaction for humans. Yeah, right. Yeah. To get discouraged. But this is why as coaches come in. Right. And reassure them that we're heading in the right direction. Just mm -hmm. trust me. But don't give up. Right. Yeah, that's the yeah. number one thing. Do not do not give up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's, that's really good advice. Yeah. <laughs> really I, good. So actually, this is a really great point. When I decided to go 100%. It took me three weeks. Like in the first three weeks, I lost like two pounds. Yeah. So I was going, I was like 85%. I mm -hmm. was one day off a week for like, you know, or two days off sometimes for like months. Yeah. And, and it pretty much stayed the same. And then mm -hmm. I was 100% for three weeks and I lost like two pounds. Yeah. I had 20 pounds, 20 more pounds to lose, maybe more. Yeah. Right. And I only lost two pounds. Yeah. And then it was like from week four to like week like middle of week four to week six, it was like instant change. Mm -hmm. It was like, I was losing three pounds a week for like three, four straight weeks. Yeah. I mean, like I don't have a ton of weight to lose, Yeah, but like it was just three pounds a week. Yeah. Every, and I was like, Hmm, this, I don't know if this is right. Actually, yeah. I, this might, this feels like too much. Yeah. And then when I look back, it's like, well, actually you had a bunch of like, yeah. you know, where yeah. you were the same. Yeah. 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 And then it just yeah. like all dropped. Mm -hmm. The other thing I too, I tell people, it's like, this is, what your body wants to do. Like you yeah. can't really force your body to speed it up when maybe that's not just what it wants, right? You can't yeah. force that. You kind of just, yeah. you need to respect what your body wants to do and that's okay. Yeah. Like this is why everyone's different, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's okay. It's okay to go that route, but mm -hmm. some people don't believe in most of us because, you know, maybe friends, right? They have friends who they lost like 10 pounds within a week. It's yeah, like, yeah. why am I not doing that? And so it's like, well, you're, you're different. You're a, you're not your friend. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Like if you look at my last eight months, yeah. you take a sample, it's like, yeah, you're not doing nothing. Yeah. And then you take a yeah, sample of a right. different yeah. different time, you're like, yeah, yeah. yo, you lost 10 pounds yeah. in two weeks. Yeah. And it's just like, well, yeah, but like all the other stuff right. led to that, right? Right, yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And that's like, and that's part of it. You know, my commitment was just to follow through on the mm -hmm. 100 days. It mm -hmm. wasn't actually to lose mm -hmm. X amount of weight. Like yeah. that, it was like the target. It was like, it was like the direction, mm -hmm. but right. like, if I never lose another pound, I'm not going to be upset about it. Yeah. You know, I'm yeah. like, I'm not, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, yeah, yeah. That part doesn't matter as much as the practice. Can I follow yeah. through on what I said I was going to do? Yeah. The other thing, too, I, um, I come across, uh, it's when clients and just members in general, they, you know, they see you do all these things and the workouts and you look great and, you know, all those muscles. And then they ask you, like, how long did it take you to get there? And I'm like, about eight years. They're like, yeah. whoa, oh, yeah. OK, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you lost yeah. me there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's yeah. like, yeah, I worked my ass off for eight years. Like, this is the reason why <laughs> eight I'm. Eight years. Yeah. Yeah. And there were several months where nothing happened. Oh, 100 yeah. percent. I probably had so many, like, maybe seven months when nothing happened. Like, yeah. my lifts were trash. Like, my workouts felt, like, just not right. Yeah. And it's part of it. It's just part of it, right? But this this is the funny thing. Is like when I tell them the number, like how, how long it took me, they're like, mm, okay. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Cool. <laughs> Never Not mind. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So it's like, okay, that seems like a lot of time though, you know, but it might not take them that long, right? It's, everyone's different. It might take you maybe four years, three years, but. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you, you've hit like, 
I don't know, a bunch of PRs just in the last like four to six months, right? Like a ton of them, and like more than more three, than you had for years. Oh right? yeah, three yeah. years, nothing happened. Yeah, yeah, absolutely nothing. Yeah, yeah. And it, but you don't hit those PRs without the three years that go before mm-hmm. it. It's not like you weren't doing anything. Right, right. Yeah. yeah, I was still coming in and you know working out, but yeah, like for three years, nothing happened. Nothing. Yeah. yeah. So you know, it just comes down to like how consistent you right. are with it. Mm-hmm. So, um, so to kind of like wrap this up, I mean, for me, I only dialed it up to a hundred percent after like five, four or five, maybe mm-hmm. six months. And even that it was a slow step. Like I'm only going to do this mm-hmm. for a little while and then I'll go for a little longer. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm doing it because I want to hit the days, yeah. not because I want to hit the number. Yeah, totally. And yeah. like, for me, the reason I even hired the coach in the first place is I've like I've been this weight before I've been lower body mm-hmm, fat before. Mm-hmm. And when I get there, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> it's time for the cake and all the other. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> and it's like, I mean, what's the point of even doing it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. And, and so what I was more interested in, cause I hired the coach for, I don't know, six months or mm-hmm. 12 months or something was what are all the things that happen after you get mm-hmm. there? Right. That's what I want to, yeah, that's yeah. what I want to see. The real work also. Happens yeah. That's true. Yeah. It's hard. That's right. It's, that's right. Yeah. And that's what I'm super interested in because I'm seeing all this crazy performance gains and I'm like, mm-hmm. wow, what could that, what's that going to look like? Jay's on yeah, a roll I know. this week. It's true. Yeah. So like, that's, I owe him a hundred bucks too. Yeah. Oh yeah. We talked about that on the podcast. Now you owe me a hundred bucks. <laughs> I would that shit. Was it more than one movement, right? No, we had no, four. four. Yeah. Oh, so there's $400 on the table. Yeah. Oh. Oof. So it was a bet between Wendy, myself and Chinwuba, David. And we had four things we had to hit. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of them was a uh, handstand walk. Yeah, neither of us have gotten that. <laughs> uh, the other one was a strict bar muscle up. Mm, we're not there yet. No. The other one was a 300 clean and jerk for me and David and 200 for you. Yeah. And you're real close to that. <laughs> you got 177, right? Yeah. What was it like like a month ago? 177? No, yeah. What was it a month ago? It oh, was, uh, 160. Yeah, 160. So yeah. you're, you're getting 160 clean and jerk. Yeah. yeah. That's, <laughs> yeah, just put on a, <laughs> I'm at, you know, 203. I'm just going to go at 20 pounds right now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. That's well, how it works. <laughs> well, okay. Yes, but Wendy is also a lot stronger than her technique. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. your front squat is what? 215. Yeah. So like, and your front squat is, like around the same. Yeah. Well, yeah. So she's got some technique work that can get her there, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. You know, I'm going to I'm gonna hit that three-year mark soon, and then I'll PR. It's been about three years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. It's been close to three years since I hit yeah. 203. Yeah. I think it was two years ago. So, yeah. <laughs> see? See? Yeah. Don't give up. I'm going to hit 250 <laughs> this time next year. <laughs> okay. Well, you just need some money on it. That's what it is. Um... <laughs> Uh, that would be bad for you, I think. If we put money on it, then <laughs> you She's might gonna not go leave 100%. the gym. Yeah, yeah, definitely. She's gonna go full on one hundred percent every day. Oh my gosh, one hundred percent. So the last one was snatch, and you had to hit one fifty-five, I believe. One fifty-five, yeah. And I had to hit two twenty-five, yeah, which I hit two hours ago. You so did. You owe me a hundred bucks. I so. do. <laughs> that was a really, really good snatch too. I that think probably nice. the best best snatch I've ever yeah, have that you was, seen. That was, yeah, that was a good one. I got, I got good yeah. coaching from. Uh, I'm yeah, coach oh, over here. Okay. All that yeah. mobility work too. Sometimes I coach. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sometimes I say things. Yeah. I just had to go and grab her and say, help oh. me with this right now. <laughs> I need this money. <laughs> I need this money. So I've got to pay rent this month. Um, yeah. So like, I, you know, I, that's the things that I'm seeing is just like a lot of performance improvements and that's way more interesting. And I'm really curious, like get it, staying consistent for that hundred days. Is it just like another 50 days of PRs? Yeah. And like, how far can it actually go? The question is, what is your potential? Yeah. And that's, that's actually more interesting. Mm. Yeah. And so, and I think nutrition clients, once they start to look at it like that, yeah, then it's way more interesting. They're more likely to stick with it yeah, rather than I got to lose 25 pounds mm-hmm. or whatever totally. it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah once you can create distance from the actual act and it becomes almost data. Like I actually took you back in August. You told me you should just weigh yourself every day just to <laughs> take out the emotion behind it. And mm. I'm like, you know what? All right, I'm going to do it. So I got a scale. I haven't done an in-body, 
but I got a scale mm. and I've been weighing myself every day. And mm. for a while, you know, if I had a bad reading, I would go back in bed and just kind of <laughs> lay there for a few minutes and talk myself out of it. And now it's been, I mean, since August, maybe September. And my coach recently told me, um, she's like, you know, don't weigh yourself since I've been sick and traveling you know, get back into the swing of things. And I weighed myself anyway, because I'm like, I'm so used to it. And at this point, I'm like, hmm, I'm going into my luteal phase. I wonder if this weight gain is because of that. Mm. I'm hitting this. And so now it's more data for me. You don't mm-hmm. feel emotional about no, it. No, yeah. because I know that tomorrow I might be two pounds right. less. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's like, all right, well, today I guess I'm this weight. Yeah. yeah. Maybe tomorrow I'll be that weight. And I am yeah. like, yeah. but if you just, you know, weigh yourself periodically and you are one of those people who get really caught up in numbers... If I weigh myself, you know, once a month on that, you know, heavy day that I have once a month, I'm yeah. going to be like, oh, man, what's wrong with me? Yeah. But it is up and down. And so it's creating space with the nutrition and sometimes just treating it like an experiment. It kind of makes it fun. Like what yeah. will impact me? Yeah. Just like you do with your lifts, right? It's like, you know, you're kind of you're kind of just tracking the data. Yeah. Right. And sometimes you'll hit a PR. Sometimes you won't hit a PR. You know, but it's like if you're moving in the right direction, then you know, like, okay, this is working. Yeah. Yeah. And that's perhaps that's the work is taking the emotion out of it, finding a way to take the emotion out of it. Because because I can't say that like, oh, yeah, listeners just stop caring. Like it's you know, you're going to (laughs) care. Yeah. And, you know, we've been doing this long enough to know that we can get to this weight. Like I've been this weight before. I've lost the weight before. I know that if I stop tracking for more than a month, I'm probably going to gain a couple pounds because I'll just start adding a few things. Yeah. And so I can create that distance and know, okay, once I get over it, like oh, big blah, 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 just go back to what you did yeah, and you'll get yeah. there. Yeah. Just give it a month. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And not everybody has experienced that month of getting back into it, the hard work, mm-hmm. and then things will work itself out. Yeah. So yeah, that's I've, when you got to trust yeah. your coach. I've taken a totally opposite approach. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, yeah. I just threw my scale off a bridge and then got rid of all the mirrors in my place. Uh, oh. I mean, what works so for one won't work for everybody. Because, yeah. yeah, I'm, I mean, I love math. So I'm actually at some point going to start graphing things and creating. <laughs> no, and I mean, I mentioned before this how, you know, I stopped, or I, I still have my whoop, but I'm now using. I'm writing data for how I feel and I'm writing my weight down based on mm. how I feel when I wait, wake up and I'm starting to think when I wake up, I bet I weigh this much based on how mm. I feel. Mm. And after I get enough data points, I'm totally going to graph it. I'm totally going to yeah. like, <laughs> because I want to yeah. know, I want to know like how do I feel versus what my whoop to- tells me. Totally. Yeah. Like, are they the same? What impacts my performance? Is it my mood? Is it my recovery? Does that yeah. have an influence on it? And then it becomes more like, how do I feel? Without, like, eventually it's like, how do I feel? And the data doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. And it's just like, okay, I feel this way and I do these activities. They make me feel this way. And it's, yeah, the data is interesting, but it's also like, once you get to wherever you want to go to, you're there for long enough. It's like, mm, yeah, do I need to track this? Yeah. Um, maybe you do. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I love data. I love it. <laughs> oh I'm going to run to set up for a thing. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah, yeah. Bye, guys. Bye. Well, I think that's all we have anyway. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Is this useful? Yes. Yeah? Scale of 1 to 10, how did we do today? We went knuckled it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, better than the kangaroo jerky? Oh, better oh, than the kangaroo jerky. Man, that was yeah. gross. I'm sorry. Yeah. I did not like All that. right. Well, that is all we have for you today. I am Coach Jay with Coach Rebecca, Wendy, and Katie. We will see you all next time. Bye. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this episode, we've got plenty of others. Go check out this one over here.